that first alert earlier this morning. Me and Nicole were talking about it. And it's because the main threat is already gone. We were dealing with that all weekend long. Now this morning we were tracking some light rain just on the west side. Much of the entire borderland region has been mainly dry. But then we have these storm cells just popping up in northern Mexico, working their way into the Hudspeth County line. And right now, Fort Hancock could potentially start seeing some heavy rainfall indication uh, indicated by the yellows and reds on the screen. So I-10 could get a little wet right now in just a few minutes, but much of this uh, activity, again, is in far east, in our far eastern viewing area. So it's something that we'll be watching carefully throughout the show and see how these storms develop later on this afternoon. Now, Coyote Place, looks like you're seeing a, uh, just a little storm cell just popping up in your direction. None of these are thunderstorms as of right now because there's no lightning detected with them. The Sacramento Mountains, of course, storms developing there in the higher elevations where they usually tend to develop during monsoon season and then they work their way down into the lowland locations. But because we're seeing already some storms, uh, uh, some showers up there in the Sacramento Mountains, it's a little cooler. Cloudcroft, you're at 60 degrees. Right now in El Paso, we're at 79, 77 across Las Cruces. Out towards Deming, we're tracking a little bit of clearer skies. You're looking at 80 degrees as of right now during this noontime hour. And later on this afternoon, those temperatures won't warm up even that much. We're going to stay below our seasonal average with afternoon highs later on this afternoon around 87 degrees for La, La Union, 88 for Santa Teresa. Keep in mind, folks, I do still have a 30% chance of rain and showers and thunderstorms in the forecast later on this afternoon. 87 degrees will be our high for Socorro, 85 in Clint, matching that in Fabens. And let's time it out with our future track computer model. The reason it was, it was at 40% earlier this morning, I downgraded to 30%. The possibility is still there, not as much as we once thought. Uh, the weather forecast is ever changing. That's why you got to stay with ABC7. Now, around 3 o'clock, it looks like our models are indicating that we could see some spotty showers across town, maybe Horizon. City near the Weco Tanks area, of course, Guadalupe Pass as well. But much of this activity will be isolated at best, and that's the key word, folks. Not everybody's going to see rain, but maybe your neighbor across town will, and it depends how these storms develop later on this afternoon with those outflow boundaries. Around 10 o'clock, we could see some isolated showers again around the Mesquite Vado area across Las Cruces, but mainly still dealing with that cloud cover because there's still an abundant amount of moisture in the atmosphere, making it feel muggy. I like to say weather you can wear because when you step outside, it definitely feels humid and we're a desert. We're not used to that. We're used to that dry climate. Or by the time we hit Thursday, things are looking pretty mundane in the aspect of we could still see those isolated showers and thunderstorms, but mainly clouds here and there. But if anything does change, you know, always get your phone out and get the app, get the alert, and download the KVI weather and traffic app. We'll be sending those push alerts throughout our newscast. So far this month, uh, we've already seen two inches of rain at the El Paso International Airport, giving us a healthy dosage. Um, we're way ahead of where we should be. We're about five inches of where we should be for this time of year. And keep in mind, August is one of our wettest months. This is what we average, folks, and we're already above that, which is some good news because we've been dealing with some drought conditions. Now, our rain chances do diminish, especially as we head into the weekend. So for once, we might not have that much of a soggy weekend, so your outdoor plans do look good, but they increase by next weekend as an abundant amount of moisture does return to the borderland. So let's put it together. 86 degrees for this afternoon, 89. We slowly start to warm things up, but still staying below the seasonal average in the 90s.